Hello, my lovely ones. My name is Paula Mina. Welcome to Retters. Today, we'll be looking at a topic, hope. Hope is very important, and this is something that we Christians often take for granted. Hope is a feeling of expectation and desire for a particular thing to happen. Hope is a feeling of expectation and desire for a particular thing to happen. These days, due to economic situations, most people have lost their hope and have become so depressed as a result. But we have a God we can rely on and we can hope in. Believers must have hope. Christianity is all about hope and being expectant that God would hear and answer us when we pray. As Christians, we hope and believe that Jesus Christ is coming again and we would meet him in mid-air upon his return on the earth. That is hope. Romans chapter 4 verse 18 says, it talks about Abraham who against all hope believed and so became the father of many nations also in Romans chapter 5 verse 5 it says and hope maketh not ashamed because the love of God is shared abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost which is given unto us praise the Lord it says hope maketh not ashamed the scripture speaks to Christian hope which does not disappoint or deceive it is quite certain of its object the hope that we're talking about derives its certainty from the consciousness of God's justifying love, which is our assurance. Praise the Lord. In 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 13, it says, And now these three remain. It says, Faith, hope, and love. But the greatest is love. Praise the Lord. In verse 8, it also says, Love never fails, but where there are prophecies, they will cease. And where there are tongues, they will be sealed. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. Verse 13 says that, And now these three things remain. Hope is paramount. Amen. In our Christian hope, hope is paramount. Praise God. Hope is deep. As Christians, we hope for eternal life. We hope for things we have asked of the Lord. That is, we are always winning. Hope makes us stay alive. Hope makes us alive. Praise the Lord. We must hope as Christians. Jeremiah 17, 7 says, Blessed, some will say blessed. Blessed is the man that trusted in the Lord and whose hope the Lord is. Blessed are you, the Bible says, whose hope the Lord is. Whose hope is in the Lord. Praise the Lord. You are blessed if your hope is in the Lord. That's what the Bible says in Jeremiah 17, 7. Lamentations chapter 3, verse 26 says, It is good that a man should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of the Lord. It is good that a man should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of the Lord. This means that even when things are as bad as they could be, God is still faithful and his mercies are new every morning, every morning. Glory to God. He will always save and come to our rescue. Praise the Lord. If we continually hope in the Lord, he will always save us and come to our rescue. This is why we should always hope in him. Amen. The Holy Spirit helps us to hope in God. The Holy Spirit helps us to hope in God. How do we hope in God? Hallelujah. By constantly seeking Him. By constantly seeking His heart. The Lord delights with those who fear Him and put their hope in His unfailing love. That is in Psalms 147 verses 11. Amen. We hope for what we do not have yet. 
we hope for what we do not have yet praise the lord we must be patient in waiting on him we must be patient in hoping that is how to hope we must be patient in waiting that's how to hope another way another way of hoping in the lord is always listening to the wisdom of others always listen to the wisdom of others and the wisdom that is also found in the word and try never to miss church because the bible says that we should not forsake the gathering of the saints even as a manner of some is because some have a psalm some have a hymn we must all encourage each other but if you are far away from the brethren it's easy for you to lose hope and be depressed praise the lord remind yourself of what god has done for you in the past that's another way of hoping in the lord you can check out psalms 19 verse 90 and see what god says there you are always expectant and expecting things to, to turn around for good that is how to hope always have expectation that god is turning your situation for good god is changing your life for good because all things work together for good to them that love god and to them who are called according to his purpose that is how to hope amen ensure your hope is in the lord praise the lord ensure your hope is in the lord all the time because his messages are new every morning hope quietly in the lord the bible says it is good that a man should hope in the lord hope and quietly wait for the salvation of the lord we can't we can't joke with our hope in the lord amen hope produces faith hallelujah our hope produces what faith he said bless the man whose hope the lord is that means whose hope is in the lord he's blessed already just for hoping in the lord blessed is the man who has not seen but yet believe because that man hopes hallelujah we can go on and on about hope hope is a fruit of the spirit hallelujah remember i read it just now these three are bound amen but the greatest is love can we take this together let's take this prayer together say my hope is in you lord my hope is in you lord i put my trust in you oh god for great is your faithfulness my soul longs for you my confidence is in you i believe you can take care of me thank you lord if you said that confession congratulations keep building on it keep building on it ensure that you keep hope alive amen ensure that you don't joke with this topic hope because if you lose hope what else again do you have hope leads to faith hope is a fruit of the spirit and said blessed is the man whose hope the lord is we must ensure that we hope in the lord at all times by waiting on him and trusting that what he has said would come to pass amen amen i've been so blessed myself god bless you so much and thank you for tuning in to today's episode i look forward to having you on next time thank you and god bless you <laughs>